ओके हाई टू ऑल द स्टूडेंट्स हाई वे बारी ओके लेट स्टार्ट दिस क्लास हे एवरी बारी हाउ यू ऑल डूइंग कम ऑन लेट मी नो इन द चैट इज द वीडियो स्मूथ येस द वीडियो इज स्मूथ राइट आई जस्ट थॉट इनिशियली दू नो द वीडियो इज लैगिंग इफ यू थिंक दैट द वीडियो लैग्स लेट मी नो ओके बट आई एम सो ग्लैड टू सी दैट यूर लवली स्टूडेंट्स अर देर इन द चैट एंड इन टूडे सेशन वी आर एक्चुअली गोइंग टू कंप्लीट द सोल्यूशन चैप्टर and we are going to talk about the vanta factor we are going to talk about the case of dissociation we are going to talk about the case of association and finally we will be doing up some uh, questions to summarize the whole chapter and as promised within three sessions we have we, we can say that the solution chapter is completely revised and finished and similarly we are going to do the same thing for the upcoming chapters as well cool let let's get started yes or no good enough for those who are watching me for the first time my name is love mehan i am a graduate of iisc bangalore if you haven't followed my telegram channel yet you should join this it's love mehan j chemistry and also follow me on an academy app which is having a username at the rate l u v m e h a n and you should also follow the telegram channel of the yt channel as well which is j english an academy for 2021 students if you are looking for crash course on plus there is one crash course from my side which is actually you know uh, for the advance as well and for those students who are actually looking for plus classes uh, you know to cover up all the chemistry syllabus for 2022 then ultimately if you are dro dropper or a fresher you know i have completed the whole physical chemistry which is available you know uh, on plus so do remember this apart from this there is one more batch for 2022 students where all the educators are taking up sessions in english so do remember this hi to lakshika hi to sarvesh anjali lakshmi khushi and everybody who's there in the chat we're starting very soon if there's anybody who actually is looking for scholarship guys do remember there is a u set there's a u set examination u s e t and this is for the scholarship first 1000 rankers are going to get scholarship up to 100 percent so the higher the rank you guys are going to have better it is going to be what are the dates the dates are 11th and 12th of september okay so do remember this and you know you should know the duration as well 90 questions 180 minutes of duration je pattern it's going to be there theek hai na the questions are slightly more but yeah over here the je mains pattern is going to be there 90 questions out of which you know as 25 for each section is what you have to do and for 2022 there are more batches if you are really looking for a drop drop has become easy on an academy all the all of these are the dropper batches so do remember these these batches are, have started on 1st 8th 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 15th and 15th some upcoming batches are also there some of the batches ha have already been started and over here if you are looking for scholarship more and more of scholarships what about 20, 2023 students guys you know every week this happens on sunday 11 am and this enrollment is actually free this is the an academy combat that we are talking about rank 1 2 and 3 holders are getting 100% scholarship and apart from this 75 50 and 25% scholarship is also available and one should give these tests and to unlock these tests you should use the code which is love guru guys write the code in the chat yes l u v g u r u you know why i have kept this code like this why didn't i keep the code like love live or something like that you know why love guru because i feel that this is this code is very funny and you guys will always remember this code and now over here guys do remember whenever we talk about an academy what all things do you get you get india's best educators over here which might not be available around you so we have all the best educators that you need and apart from that we have their live classes where you can ask your doubts notes and pdfs are going to be available whatever teacher writes structured courses are going to be available where you will know when these courses are going to end and live test and quizzes happens what's extra in iconic personal coach study material study planner expert guidelines test analysis personal guidance everything is going to be available in iconic and for those who are actually going to give jn 2022 the 2022 freshers and droppers i recommend 12 months to you you know and uh, for 2023 students i recommend 24 months to you guys do remember to use the code love guru if you want 
mentorship from my end and discount how many of you want discount let me know this is going to be the code that you have to remember and now we have the last class the van't hoff factor whenever we talk about the van't hoff factor you know what is the symbol that you have to remember the van't hoff factor can be denoted as i we'll talk about this symbol this whole class is about this i okay how many of you have already learned about this because anyhow droppers would be there no who would have already know who already know about this for those who do not know about this we'll talk about it so there is a very small formula for it how many so it talks about i there are three definitions in whichever way you want to learn them it's upon you but you know just follow these three so it's about how many number of moles of particles after dissociation or association upon total number of moles of particles before dissociation or association samajh mein aaya kuch did you get anything i think no see just reading up these things will never let you understand the real meaning we'll take an example so guys pay attention what if i say that we take 100 molecules of what these molecules are going to be of solute okay 100 particles also you can remember so we will go with the 100 particles you can go with 100 molecules 100 particles or 100 moles in whichever way you want to go we'll go with the smallest one let's say you took 100 particles of solute where would you put the solute obviously in solvent and you put these 100 particles in solvent okay now what exactly happens when you put 100 particles they become 50 what exactly happened pay attention there were two particles which became one what exactly happened they both felt attraction between each other and two particles became one so this is where if two particles become one 100 particles will become 50 what is going to be the i value what is going to be the van't hoff factor i is going to be how many molecules how many particles did you use initially and how much did they become what is going to be the van't hoff factor over here it's actually going to be this is less than 1 right whenever the i values are going to be less than 1 it means association guys it means association very much important do note this down in your notebooks now let's take another example okay you guys took 100 particles this is the case of association which i taught you because anyhow we are going to talk about this again you know me right i cannot wait for the slides to come i cannot wait for the topic to show up i always like to give you a quick recap and a quick quick summary much before now pay attention what i am telling you is i actually i just need an eraser yes 100 particles is what you took this is one particle but what exactly happens whenever you put this particle into the solvent it breaks it becomes two it broke from the middle okay it dissociated but let's talk about it broke one particle broke into two particles so 100 particles will break into 200 what will you write the number of particles that you used initially up you know in the denominator and in the numerator it should be how many number of particles it became after dilution after putting it into the solution okay after putting it into the solvent 200 what is going to be the van't hoff factor value let's talk about i whenever the i value is greater than okay i value smaller than 1 yes whenever it is going to be greater than 1 uh, it is going to be dissociation do remember this is this clear this is all useful for je and as well as neat students do remember this okay yes hi welcome to the session so now let's move ahead so no matter which formula do you go with i really do not care 
the concept should be in your brain that's it okay and now let's talk about the dissociation part whenever you take a and b nacl kcl k2so you know potassium sulfate something like that it when it breaks into cations and anion so one particle broke into two particles correct can we write this so ultimately in this scenario the number of particles became twice this is one this is one this is one in total these are two this became twice you let me know what is going to happen in the case of k2so4 i'm just writing it up for you, for you silently you tell me one particle became one molecule became how many particles how many do you see one k2so4 got dissociated into 2k plus and one sulfate ion so ultimately the answer over here is 3 so do remember that lakshika it has to be 2k plus not just k plus because the charges total charges should be same 2 plus 2 minus 2 okay so this is how you should remember over here it became thrice and now guys pay attention if i add 100 k2so4s and all of these 100 breaks then ultimately how many particles will i have i will have ultimately 300 particles total 300 number of cations and anions included van t hoff factor becomes for k2so4 300 upon 100 it is 3 so do remember this this is how it is going to be it's very easy and believe me or not 2021 was filled with the van t hoff factor questions okay so now let's talk about more what are we talking about degree of dissociation is it a new topic no this is not a new topic whenever we talk about the degree of dissociation you should remember that actually we're talking about just alpha and which is the first chapter where you learn the degree of dissociation it's the chemical equilibrium ionic equilibrium chemical equilibrium is the you know chapter where you see degree of dissociation which is in class 11 so i assume that a lot of you are knowing this if not let's talk about this i'll tell you this is not about how many particles it became this is all about how many particles participated what does that mean pay attention let's say there are 100 molecules is what i took these this is like ab becoming a plus and b minus okay one molecule will become two particles but it, this degree of dissociation is not about how many particles are forming up it is about how many initial this molecules are breaking out of total if you took 100 let's talk about the simple one so let's say i took two molecules ab and ab if all of these four all of these two break will get 2a plus and 2b minus right over here you use two molecules and both of them got dissociated the answer of degree of dissociation is going to be 1 alpha value is how much you took and how much of these particular particles you know molecules dissociated which is also 2 this is what we are talking about now you guys let me know what is going to be the alpha value in this scenario when i took two ab's but only out of this one got dissociated so what i am going to have i am going to have one ab and one a plus and one b minus what do you do you think that the alpha value is going to be it's all about how many particles you took and how many particles out of these that you took got dissociated how many dissociated only one dissociated correct you put one over here your answer is over here which is 0.5 half of the, this 0.5 tells you half of the particles that you took initially dissociated clear half of these particles took part in dissociation 
everybody i'm not ignoring anybody okay hey abirami hey vidya amazing that you guys have joined guys first and the foremost thing you guys are actually joining these classes late when you do, do know that the timing class timing is 9 pm why aren't you here on the channel much before that you have to be there okay there's no point of missing up classes free classes at your home on your laptop or mobile phone or whatever you cannot miss it okay nobody is going to bring these sessions again for you right so everybody be on time now is the alpha value clear to you what is degree of dissociation now pay attention the total number of molecules or number of moles of the substance taken one mole two mole let's say you took 10 moles and the number of moles of substance dissociated let's say out of 10 moles only two moles got dissociated what is going to be your answer out of 10 moles only two moles got dissociated what is going to be your answer the answer is going to be 0.2 let's say you took 10 moles and none of them got dissociated 0.10 let's say you took 10 moles and 10 you know 10 mol moles all of them got dissociated you will write 10 on 10 so the values of alpha the value of alpha guys is always going to be between 0 and 1 give me a second what am i writing 0 <laughs> alpha 1 do write this down in your notebooks it can even be 0 it can even be 1 1 means 100 percent dissociation 0 means 0 percent dissociation 0.5 means 50 percent 0.2 means 20 percent 0.7 means 70 percent okay whatever value do you get of alpha let's say you get a value of 0.9 multiply this by 100 and you get the percentage how much percentage the molecule these particles are dissociated is this clear let me know in the chat write this alpha value lies lies between 0 and 1 and it could also be 0 and 1 also i mean you know it should be equal as well it can be equal now let's talk about degree of dissociation what exactly happens we take a molecule which is having n number of particles just like k2so4 how many were there 3 nacl 2 and there are so many molecules so many atoms inside hai na i mean not molecules but atoms so this is what is n and when we use this particular particle molecules it can break into n number of a's so let's talk about something okay we'll talk about some other example let's say we take uh, magnesium chloride what will happen over here when magnesium chloride dissociate it's going to be mg2 plus plus 2 cl minus right so over here mg cl2 is the an over here where n value is going to be 3 why is that because this decides what is going to be the n value one here and two here okay so how many number of particles becomes later decides the n value so by looking at any particular salt any particular you know ionic compound you can always tell how many you know n value is going to be in the case of nacl n value is going to be 1 for na 1 for chlorine minus and it's going to be 2 the number of particles do you see after dissociation is the n value so you took an where n number of particles can show up after dissociation which later becomes n number of a's this a is the particle how many n number okay and now guys pay attention what exactly is happening at t is equals to 0 at t is equals to equilibrium we'll talk about this pay attention at t is equals to 0 let's say you took 1 mole At t is equals to zero, when the reaction didn't start, when the dissociation didn't start, the you know the concentration, the number of moles of Na was zero, because it's hundred percent over here. It didn't dissociate. We didn't start the timer. We didn't start. Uh, we didn't put the salt actually. Now, when we talk about t is equals to equilibrium, after some time, when the equilibrium is established, one minus alpha. why alpha why are we subtracting with alpha guys pay attention if i took one mole 
and if i want to say that 50% of the molecules 50% of the substance got dissociated 50% means 0.5 so what i am going to do 1 minus 0.5 because this much quantity is used and this much quantity is left if i had given you 10 candies and you ate 8 candies how many candies do you have this is what we are talking about if you took one candy and somebody or you only consumed 0.5 candy how much candy is with you the 0.5 candy this is what we are talking about how much concentration is available now how much number of moles 1 minus alpha because this is important we are doing a derivation right now okay guys everybody right now pay attention okay don't talk to each other now what's going to happen when alpha value is given to you when alpha is there you should remember how many a particles are going to form again pay attention if i give you 100 number of nacl it gives you na plus plus cl minus over here write 100 over here write 100 this is only possible when the alpha value is 1 correct when the, everything is dissociated then only you will get the same number what if i write 50 percent is dissociated what numbers will you get before sodium plus and chlorine minus 50 50 let's say 20 percent dissociated 0 0.2 you know alpha then how much is the na plus and cl minus will you get 20 20 out of 100 only 20 nacl got dissociated 20 na plus and 20 cl minus is what you will get okay this is what we're talking about so over here how much are we going to have how much moles of a are we going to have n alpha this is what you have to write is this clear and now at t is equals to equilibrium whenever the equilibrium has been achieved can you see the total number of moles yes total moles of the particles 1 minus alpha plus n alpha can you see alpha common 1 alpha is having minus and n minus 1 and n plus n minus 1 alpha this is what the total number of particles after dissociation what is the total number of particles before dissociation you know what it's this 1 plus 0 okay do write this down so now when we write for i it is going to be the total number of particles before dissociation which is 1 the number of moles which is 1 and total number of particles after dissociation which is 1 plus n minus 1 alpha anything upon 1 is the same thing right so the final value that you get for i the fa final uh, formula is 1 plus n minus 1 alpha is this clear to each and everybody now we are going to do you know get one more formula from this though if you remember this you do not have to you know remember the next formula what i'm doing is take i on the lhs take i on the lhs i is minus 1 is equals to n minus 1 alpha take n minus l on the lhs i minus 1 n minus 1 is equals to alpha so if the question asks you to calculate the degree of dissociation then this is the formula that you have to use when the question asks you i and alpha and n value is given to you you will you know use the first formula is this clear yes or no and now let's move ahead over here we are talking about the degree of dissociation and that's the formula that i'm talking about 1 minus alpha plus n alpha which can be written as 1 plus n minus 1 alpha when you take alpha common this alpha has n this alpha has minus 1 minus 1 and n do remember this clear have you guys written this down let me know do you want some space do write this down amazing and now let's move ahead over here whenever we are going to talk about 
alpha value 1 that means 100 percent dissociation 100 percent dissociation okay and now whenever we are going to talk about alpha value less than 1 then it is always for weak acid and weak basis always remember some value is going to be 0 0.1 0 0.2 0 0.3 0 0.4 0 0.5 but not close to 1 when we talk about the strong acids and strong bases and salts like NaCl HCl NaOH then you should remember that the degree of dissociation is 100 percent this is also taught in ionic equilibrium as well weak acids and weak bases weak salts they dissociate weak electrolytes in short okay now we're talking about strong electrolytes over here okay strong electrolytes have alpha value always one or if not one then 0 0.99 0 0.98 0 0.97 something like that okay and when we talk about weak electrolytes then the alpha value is less than very much less than 1 0 0.01 0 0.005 0 0.1 0 0.2 0 0.3 which is lesser than 1 so do remember that okay it's okay Vidya take care bye bye guys now pay attention now let's talk about the association first of all why or how can two molecules associate the first and the only reason is attraction one and the second molecule will be actually having better interactions later and this is what is actually seen in the case of acetic acid so when we talk about the acetic acid I'm going to show you this is the case this is one acetic acid molecule CH3 COOH do you see the carboxylic acid group and do you see the second carbon so ultimately ethanoic acid is what we are talking about what exactly happens guys pay attention oxygen is partially negative oxygen partially negative and hydrogen partially positive this partially positive hydrogen you know shows hydrogen bonding with the partial negative oxygen similarly partially negative oxygen makes hydrogen partially positive and this partially positive hydrogen shows hydrogen bonding with partially negative oxygen of the another molecule so how many hydrogen bondings do you see this is two and two hydrogen bondings between two molecules is a good is a very strong interaction and you should remember in such a scenario these two molecules come together and they form dimer guys i'm writing it over there dimer okay abirami do not you do not have to put these messages okay don't worry come on i see your messages i am actually right now focusing on uh, to teach you these derivations i will definitely see your messages okay guys pay attention now we're talking about two molecules of acetic acid coming together and staying together so how many did you use if you used if you used 100 you know acetic acids i'm writing ac ultimately they became 2 ac how many they became 50 you took 2 they became 1 you took 100 they became 50 this is only going to happen when the participation is 100 percent when all the particles are if you take thousand and out of these thousand molecules thousand of them you know participate in dimerization when thousand of them will participate in dimerization out of thousand what is going to be the alpha value when you took thousand molecules and th out of thousand all the thousand molecules participated what is going to be the alpha value degree of association it's going to be hundred percent right so this is what we are going to talk about so when we talk about alpha value over here it is going to be how many particles did you use and particles participated 
simple my own definition how many particles did you use that means how many particles did you put okay and out of that how many particles participated in association or dissociation whatever it is if you write for dissociation it is going to be degree of dissociation if you write for association this is going to be the degree of association okay but always remember that whenever association happens the number of particles comes down you took 100 it became 50 the actual number of particles came down when we talk about dissociation the number of particles increase if you took 100 it can become 200 when they dissociate into two particles right in dissociation number of particles increase in association number of particles decrease is what you have to remember okay again the alpha value for degree of association i am not going to repeat the formula again and now let's see this let's say you took n number of a particles let it be acidic acid what exactly is happening over here you took n number of them and they actually all of them got merged with each other all of them got associated now this can be a dimer whenever it's a dimerization for dimerization n value is 2 for trimerization n value is 3 and so on it goes on and on okay so over here if we talk about acetic acid and dimerization obviously this is going to be if you if you talk about let's say you took two acetic acid molecules and they became a2 i'll talk about this so in other words it is going to be ch3 cooh okay and you took x number of them and then ultimately what you see is ch3 cooh okay and this is where you will see twice obviously dimerization right and over here how many molecules you will see x by 2 how many particles x by 2 so this is how it is going to be okay now let's do it again when we have time is equals to 0 and we have time at equilibrium when the equilibrium is achieved by the way how is your equilibrium boys and girls if your equilibrium is not so strong then you should be more regular in my class 11th you know sessions as well so it is going to you know class 11 lectures happen every you know alternate day monday wednesday friday and when we talk about class 12th it's tts now whenever we talk about rt is equals to zero let's say you took one mole how many moles of an zero when we talk about at t is equals to equilibrium it is going to be 1 minus alpha some amount of 1 out of 1 mole some amount of molecules would have participated 50% then 0.5 20% 0.2 70% 0.7 .7. and if let's say out of 100 again I am going to give you this example out of 100 if 50 participated then these 50 particles if they dimerize if they dimerize how many total number of particles will they show only 50 i'm talking about it will become by 2 it all 50 clubbing with each other becoming 25 so whatever number you see whatever alpha value you see over here it becomes alpha by n if it is dimerization it will be alpha by 2 if it is trimerization it will be alpha by 3 okay do remember this for those students who are till here with me in the session is this clear if you have any doubts i am going to be the only one teacher on youtube who looks into the chat and talks to you and sees and you know answer your doubts no other channel gives you that i am the only one so guys i'm again asking you if you have any doubts stop me there now pay attention this is the number of molecules number of moles for an this is the number of moles for a what's the total number of mole total moles guys write 1 minus alpha plus alpha by n correct i'll rewrite this 1 plus alpha by n minus alpha can you see something common over here you see alpha common right write it again 1 plus 
वन बाय एन माइनस वन एल्फा वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट समथिंग एल्स एज वेल पे अटेंशन नाउ लेट्स टॉक अबाउट द आई वट इज द फॉर्मूला ऑफ आई हाउ मेनी मॉलिक्यूल्स यू टुक इन द स्टार्टिंग विच इज वन and how many at you know molecules or i mean moles are there at the end 1 plus 1 by n minus 1 alpha which is going to be give you the i value so ultimately guys pay attention i am simply going to write this is the formula of i do we have the formula of i for association yes or no and now see this Let's write the formula for alpha as well. Take one on the LHS. Take n one upon n minus one on the LHS. Is this clear to everybody? Yes or no? Now you would be like, sir, it's so hard for us to remember these formulas. I'll give you a trick. It's very the formulas are same. We'll talk about this. I'll summarize it for you guys. So if you want to write it down, do that. But if you haven't noted down, don't worry. We'll talk about you know examples. We'll talk about the uh, you know everything. So now guys, pay attention. This that's the same thing. So I am going to summarize it for you guys for association. Just one formula. If I would be you, which one should I remember? I value is equals to one plus one by n minus one alpha. Guys, pay attention. I'm marking up something. Do remember this. For dissociation, I value is equals to one plus n minus one alpha. Again, I'm marking something for you. For dissociation, as the number increases, how many numbers are it? You know how many particles it is forming? It's one. It's n. And in the case of association, as the number of particles decreases, one by n. Formula, it's same. Formula is same. For association, just keep one by n. For dissociation, keep n. Clear? Yes or no? Come on. Good. now let's move ahead let's do a question example this is not a question i am going to solve this for you what is the question talking about let's understand let us consider 60% of association of acetic acid in benzene what is the solvent benzene is the solvent this is how you should read it what is the sol solute acetic acid and how should you know this is the solute and how do we get to know because we are talking about acetic acid is the one which is getting dissociated associated now what is going to be the alpha value over here boys and girls what is going to be the alpha value alpha value would be 0.6 so these things are collected from the question what about acetic acid it dimerizes correct two molecules becomes one the n value is going to be 2 dimerization right what is going to be the i value 1 plus not the phone 1 plus 1 by n minus 1 into alpha let's talk about let's talk about the i value okay 1 plus 1 by 2 minus 1 into 0.6 This is zero point five minus one, one plus. Then ultimately in the brackets it's minus zero point five into zero point six. Zero point five into zero point six is what you guys can do. Do it. This is going to be ultimately equals to how much? Five into six, thirty. Right. This becomes one plus. is this correct what is this 0.7 it's the i value it's the i value 
and then right now what do you see is the i value smaller than 1 obviously this also verifies that ultimately we have gone to the path of association we have taken acetic acid to the path of association okay okay amazing clear let me know how many seconds will you take to do this even you you should comment down okay and now this is the same thing that we are talking about same formula that we are talking about and this is how you have to do okay now let's move ahead over here we are talking about the changes the actual changes in the formulas and why is that you do, you do you remember that there are, there are colligative properties relative lowering of pressure elevation of boiling point depression of freezing point osmotic pressure that we all covered in the previous class all at once why does these you know you know changes happen the first and the foremost reason is the number of non volatile solute particles whenever we have a container where we have solvent pure solvent the surface of the pure solvent is actually occupied by the solvent particles this is solvent itself but when we add a non volatile solute what exactly happens if i added four particles those you know out of like you know if i am having 100 particles of uh, solvent on the surface and four on the four uh, particles of solute it's fine right i, I showed you four assume these uh, others are 100 okay now guys pay attention if th right now there is no dissociation no association correct if these particles dissociate if four particles dissociate if one particle dissociates into two four particles will dissociate into eight right so this is what i'm going to show you fifth sixth seventh eighth now do you see the number of particles on the surface have increased will the vapor pressure become much lower or will it be the same or will it become higher for the uh, solution it will become much lower at the same temperature so whenever the number of particles dissociate or associates as the exact number of particles do change on the surface as well all the colligative properties change i mean the values change so ultimately we should have a correction and when we are talking about the van t hoff factor we have to actually put the correction and i am going to talk about this okay so whenever we are talking about rlvp relative lowering of vapor pressure which is delta p upon p not a which was initially which we wrote it as mole fraction of b just simply multiply i value the van t hoff factor value whenever we talk about the second case the elevation in boiling point delta tb what was the formula ebullioscopic constant into molality now just the correction which is the van t hoff factor depression in freezing point delta tf is equals to cryoscopic constant into molality into the you know correction osmotic pressure pi which is pressure concentration of solute into gas constant into the temperature in kelvin into the correction the van t hoff factor is the correction is this clear whenever there is no dissociation or association i value becomes 1 then there is no need of correction correction is only needed whenever the particle solute particles either dissociate or associates clear guys do pay attention if the i value is 2 or 3 the delta tb value will also increase if i value increases delta tb value increases the change in the boiling point is going to be more similarly okay so do remember this when i value increases so do remember these things clear let me know 
yes or no amazing right and now let's talk about more over here we are going to get into the question so that you guys can actually practice these with me some of the questions are going to be on van't hoff factor some of the questions are going to be on the topics that we have covered in the previous classes so guys let's do this a solution prepared by dissolving 0.6 g given weight of urea which is having a molar mass 60 what i'll do is now i'll forget the given weight i'll simply write the number of moles of urea over here itself wherever i write the question urea molar mass given weight 0.6 upon 60 the moles comes out to be 0.01 amazing right and 1.8 grams of glucose given weight where the molar mass is 180 number of moles of glucose 1.8 upon 180 right again 0.01 moles moles in 100 ml of water volume add to 27 degree celsius add 273 we're talking about 300 kelvin question talks about the osmotic pressure of the solution is the osmotic pressure the formula is c r t i urea and glucose do not dissociate hence let's not talk about this let's not talk about i how do we write c the number of moles of solute upon volume into r into t how many number of moles of solute are we having 0.01 and 0.01 so ultimately number of moles of solute is going to be 0.01 plus 0.01 which is 0.02 okay do write this down over here here 0.02 and the volume which is 100 ml but you should remember the volume should be in liters so this 100 ml is going to be 0.1 liters okay into r what is the value of r that you would use because we are actually not trying to find energy we're trying to find the pressure which value of r ha is having liter atm uh, you know atm uh, unit in the r value come on let me know this is your call let's see will it be 8.314 or is it going to be 0.0028 uh, 0.00821 or 0.0821 whatever let's see now nah. 8.14 you sure no that's not going to be the case okay and anyhow the correct answer to this question is going to be after solving put the value of t 300 0.1 0.02 and the r value theek okay? hai and what is the r value that you will use 0.0821 is what you have to use theek okay? hai liter atm is the unit it is having theek okay? hai it's there so do remember this liter atm per kelvin per mole theek okay? hai so now this is what it's 0.01 it's 0.01 in total 0.02 this is 100 over here it's totally fine yes so do remember this theek okay? hai 100 over here is there and 1000 why are we multiplying it with 1000 because anyhow 0.1 is what we are writing over here theek okay hai na that's what 0.1 when we reciprocate it it becomes 10 so the way you want to do good 4.92 is going to be the correct answer now let's talk about the next question the question that we talking about over here is ethylene glycol is used as an anti freeze in a cold climate anti freeze that means we are actually trying to you know decrease the freezing point we we are looking for a depression in freezing point mass of ethylene obviously then this particular substance is going to be a non volatile substance the mass of ethylene glycol which should be 
add it to 4 kg of water what is this 4 kg of water mass of solvent yes the mass of solvent correct prevent it from the freezing at minus 6 degrees celsius so what are we trying to do this is going to be the delta tf we want that at minus 6 degrees celsius this particular substance should not freeze kf the, the cryoscopic constant is 1.86 water is the solvent mass of ethylene glycol so you should also know that the mass of the the molar mass of the ethylene glycol is given to you guys pay attention this is m2 they're actually trying to ask you w2 okay they're asking you w2 what is the mass over here given to you of the solvent 4 kg what is going to be the formula delta tf is equals to kb uh, K kf into m we'll write it down again minus 6 if, if it is in degree Celsius or in Kelvin, you can still write the same number. Is equals to K, Kf 1.86 into molality. Molality is number of moles upon mass of substance, mass of solvent in kgs. Correct? So this is what we are going to write. Instead of mass, I am writing 4. Instead of this, I am writing given weight upon molar mass. Given weight the w2 what that we have to calculate upon 62 the molar mass this is what you have to solve and you'll get the answer give me a second we'll remove the minus sign from here do this just do this. Hey Abhirami, love you too man. Sir, please S block sir. We'll do that Abhirami. Uh, when is the examination? If you're actually looking for, you know, for the S block, if the examination is near, do let me know. If it is not, I'll give, I'll take some time and I'll let you know. Okay. Chalo. Answer over here. A option, Lakshika and Khushi giving me the correct answers. And the correct answer to this question is A always mind this uh, students I am always going to take you to the part where the calculation is your I'm never going to do calculation it's not my time okay, na? I can do it but there's no point you should be doing it and you have to give me an answer I'm going to help you okay now moving on to the next question if 5.25 percent solution of a substance is isotonic to 1.5 percent solution amazing right what is the meaning of isotonic? Can same concentration be isotonic? Because R is constant, let's say T is constant. Isotonic means osmotic pressure inside and outside. I mean, it's, you know, it's same. It's all because of the concentration being same, okay? So if I take one liter of solution, how much grams should I add of this substance? 5.25 grams. If I take 100 ml, if I take 1.5 percent in 100 ml, it should be 1.5 grams. I'm assuming the volume of the solution to be 100 ml for both. The mass, the molar mass of urea is given to you. So the number of moles would be 1.5 upon 60. The answer comes out to be 0, 0.0. Uh, 2.5 yes okay now pay attention when we are talking about 5.25 and yes the substance is not given to you so we do not know the molar mass is what you have to calculate okay the same solvent if the densities of the both solution are same so we do not have to worry about the mass to volume ratio the molar mass of the substance is so what will you write whenever we talk about isotonic solution p pi 1 is equals to pi 2 which means concentration 1 rt is equals to concentration 2 rt cancel 
we are only talking about concentrations what are we talking about over here this is the substance one the number the given weight 5.25 upon m what we have to calculate upon 100 ml and let's talk about this over here okay we are talking about one point uh, how much 0 0.025 upon 100 ml whatever the volume is 100 whatever cancel these volumes even you can do it with v as well okay now this is what you have to actually calculate let me know the answer so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take m on the rhs and 0 0.025 on the LHS. Let me know. 210 grams per mole. 1, 2, 3. 52.5 divided by 0. Yes. The correct answer to this question is absolutely going to be D. So do remember this, okay? Yes or no? So volume and volume is going to get cancelled. Don't worry. 5.25 upon molar mass, 1.5 upon 60. So this is what you have to remember. Such type of questions are going to be there in the J and the NEET terms because these are actually easy questions. So always remember this. Now let's talk about more. It's a good question. It's not going to be there in NEET, but definitely such type of question could be there in not could can be there definitely in J. Okay. So now let's do this. A degree of dissociation alpha value for a weak electrolyte AXBY. So how is it going to be? AXBY will dissociate into XAY plus plus YBX minus. That's how it is going to be. Correct? Then we're talking about what is the relationship between I and alpha? Hmm? Which option is going to be correct? Now, whenever in the starting you go with 1, it is going to be 0 and 0. When it is 1 minus alpha, it is going to be x alpha and this is going to be y alpha. How many total number of moles after dissociation? Add these. This is going to be 1 plus x plus y minus 1 alpha which is going to be the i value. We have to look for the alpha, correct? Take I on one on the uh, LHS. This is going to be RHS. I minus one is going to be X plus Y minus one alpha. Take this X plus Y minus one on the LHS now. X plus Y minus one is equals. Yes, that's how it is going to be. So which one is correct? Option A says Lakshika. Okay. Yes, A is the correct answer. Amazing, is it? Yes or no, boys and girls, let me know. Clear? You do have to, you know, practice such type of questions. Otherwise, it's going to be very hard. So do remember this. And now let's talk about the next question. The freezing point of benzene decreased by 0 0.45 degrees Celsius. Freezing point, depression. Delta TF. When 0 0.2 grams of acetic acid, acetic acid is going to be solute, given weight, is added to 20 grams of benzene. This is the mass of solvent. This is going to be the mass. Convert this into kgs. 0 0.002 kgs. Okay. Mm -hmm. 20 gram it is. If acetic acid associates dimerizes to form a dimer in benzene, so the end value that we are going to use is going to be 2. The percentage association of acetic acid. So in other words, we have to first of all calculate the alpha value. Hai na? The Kf value is given to us. So how will we do it? Delta Tf is equals to Kf into m into i guys first of all let's calculate i nobody should be giving me the answer okay lakshik i do not want just the options i want the answer okay i want the value i'm going to give you let me know the i value first let's see who can give me this okay 
डेल्टा टी एफ जीरो पॉइंट फोर फाइव इज इक्वल टू के एफ वैल्यू विच इज वन फाइव पॉइंट वन टू मोलैलिटी हाउ विल यू फाइंड मोलैलिटी डब्ल्यू टू इज गिवन टू यू जीरो पॉइंट टू मोलर मास ऑफ एसर के एसेट सिक्सटी दिस इज द नंबर ऑफ मोल्स ओके सो डू राइट दिस डाउन दिस इज एन एंड यस अपॉन जीरो पॉइंट जीरो टू यस तो जीरो पॉइंट टू डिवाइडेड बाई सिक्सटी दिस इज द नंबर ऑफ मोल्स अपॉन मास ऑफ सॉल्वेंट इन के जीज जीरो पॉइंट जीरो 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 पॉइंट जीरो टू जीरो कैलकुलेट दिस के एफ वैल्यू इज वोट आई नो फाइव पॉइंट वन टू नो इशूज लेट मी नो द वैल्यू ऑफ आई बिकॉज इफ यू के नॉट कैलकुलेट द वैल्यू ऑफ आई यू विल नॉट बी एबल टू मूव टूवर्ड्स एल्फा कैलकुलेट आई बॉयज एंड गर्ल्स जीरो पॉइंट फोर फाइव इंटू सिक्सटी इंटू जीरो पॉइंट टू जीरो टू अपॉन फाइव पॉइंट वन टू इंटू जीरो पॉइंट टू डू दिस ultimately it is going to be somewhere around 0.45 into 6 upon 5.12 the i value boys and girls nobody come on how can you do this come on boys and girls i'm not looking for the i'm not looking for the formula I'm looking for the value. Give me a number. Come on. Tell me. No, sir, we are not going to calculate. Oh, oh, you. Like, Khushi is saying, sir, we gave, na. Come on. No matter. No matter. I'm looking for a number. I value. Anybody can give me that formula that you guys are giving me in the chat. Zero point five two. Are you sure? Okay. So over here, we'll see. Pakka. Zero point five two. Would be right. I didn't solve this. Zero point five two. Two students are giving me. Okay. So over here. Now what is going to be the scenario? Zero point five two is the I value that you solve. If anybody who calculates the I value correctly, I can say ninety percent of the question is complete. Then you have to use now the formula. Which you were giving me in the chat peacefully, which is if you cal calculate the value of i, alpha value is equals to one minus l or uh, uh, i minus one. As this is association, you know this is association. You should remember one upon two minus one. That's how it is going to be. Zero point five. So that's how you have to remember. Okay, you know this is going to be the correct one. Okay. Because the i value or the alpha value that you will get is going to be zero point nine four six, zero point nine four six, ninety multiplied by hundred will get the percentage ninety four point six percent of acidic acid was dissociated. Thank God, correct, sir. You made me scared. I doubted my calculation. I was like, pakka, it's going to be wrong. No, no, no. Whenever I always ask, pakka. Because the reason is I am not the one who is going to come up with the you know you see I do a lot of questions in a day and I do not I am the least you know I do not have that memory I don't want to spend my brain cells on uh, memorizing the answer okay I believe in solving if you wouldn't wouldn't do that then obviously I'll start doing it but what I'm asking is the confirmation I want more students to give me this answer okay so है ना now and actually now right now we are absolutely at the end of this class. So the solution chapter has been completed. Uh, the, it is going to benefit the JE and the NEET students both. Do remember this. When we talk about the level of questions in JE Advance, it also doesn't increase much. You should just remember you have to be the one who has to read the question pretty much well, and nothing is tough. So do remember this, okay? And this is where we are absolutely at the end of this class. And you can, I, you know, always ask doubts. any time and unlimited doubts and you'll get the 
high quality video solutions in english and hindi and you know you, uh, it can also help you in homework so you can actually just you know click on ask doubt take a picture you know take a screen you know picture over there crop it properly and then you will be ultimately you know you have to just tell us which particular subject it belongs to do not put multiple questions make sure the questions are complete and clean okay and we are absolutely at the end of this class some more questions please no we will be doing up a special co you know uh, class uh, maybe on youtube or on plus uh, this uh, unacademy platform to give you maximum practice uh, what i'm thinking is you guys are actually doing good so next time i'm going to bring up advanced level questions for you guys and neat questions as well i'll tell you what is the difference between mains advanced and neat so that everybody is sure that what level they are at okay sir i am 2023 student sorry for being act not active today it's okay abirami uh, no issues okay chalo amazing so if you have any friends who are actually uh, preparing for 2022 je or 23 je do share my sessions with them so that even they can be regular and they can actually have a lot of fun chalo all the best take care stay safe bye bye take care boys and girls let's meet again tata do not forget to subscribe the channel it's going to be helpful for you for the upcoming sessions bye bye